Amanil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. The question involves factoring and using synthetic division. We need to factor 8x cubed plus 27. As most of you know, this could be factored very easily using the formula a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b times a square plus a b plus b square, right? So that is very easy factoring for 8x cubed plus 27. But the idea is how do we factor using synthetic division? So that's the question. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, synthetic division is shortcut to long division. So those of you who haven't done synthetic division can try long division. Right? Okay. First, let me thank this question to my subscriber. And then let's begin. Whenever we have a cubic function, we have to look for a factor and that comes with trial and error. So the possible factors are factors of 27 divided by factors of 8. Now since this is 8x cubed plus 27, we can always equate it to 0. So we can write this as 8x cubed plus 27 equal to 0 and find the first factor. Rearranging, we get 8x cubed equals to minus 27, x cubed equals to minus 27 divided by 8. So x is cube root of minus 27 divided by 8. Cube root of minus 27 is minus 3 and that of 8 is 2. So we get a value x equals to minus 3 over 2 which will make this function 0. So that means x plus 3 over 2 is a factor. Correct? Once you find the first factor, then we can divide the given terms with the factor and get the rest, right? That's the whole idea. So now we'll perform synthetic division to divide and what is the divisor? The x value which makes it 0. So we are expecting remainder of 0 when we divide this by minus 3 over 2. Perfect. So that's what we are going to do. What you need to do here is to write down what should come here. Well, 8x cubed plus 27. Let's rewrite. We have 8 x cubed plus 27. So there are some missing terms. 0x squared plus 0x. These are called the placeholders. And they are very important when you perform division. So these are the placeholders which should be introduced, right? Placeholders. Coefficients of all these terms are written on top of this line which you may call as a form of a table. So 8, coefficient of x cubed, 0, 0, the constant 27. Right. So when we divide, we will draw a line here, write terms under this line. Now, the first step is to bring down the leading coefficient, which in our case is 8. Okay, so we bring down 8. Multiply that by minus 3 by 2. So multiply these two terms and the product is written there. When you multiply minus 3 by 2 times 8, 4 times is 12, you get minus 12 here, right? Now add these two terms. So let's add them and write it down. So what we get here is minus 12.
we can again multiply minus 3 by 2 by minus 12 minus and minus becomes plus 12 divided by 2 is 6 6 times 3 is 18 so we get 18 here adding gives us 18 when you multiply minus 3 by 2 with 18 then you get 9 times 3 which is 27 with a negative sign and when you add as expected we get 0 so the remainder is is indeed 0 when you divide cubic function with a linear function you get the quotient as quadratic function right so you can write down now your factor which is 8 x square minus 12 x plus 18 right that's what you get so let's rewrite the factors of 8 x cubed so we have 8 x cubed plus 27 equals 2 we did x plus 3 over 2 times 8 x square minus 12 x plus 18 it's good to write without fractions so we can take half common do you see that we can take half common so we get 2x plus 3 times 8x square minus 12x plus 18 right now here you can divide all the terms by 2 so we get our result which is 2x plus 3 times 4x square minus 6x plus 9 so that is the final result and it matches with your formula right so the key here also to understand is we are actually dividing by the factor x plus 3 over 2 which could be treated as half of 2x plus 3 right so that means the quotient which we got earlier, the quotient which we got in this case, that's the quotient, right? Should have been divided by 2 to straight away get the answer. Do you see that? So you could treat these two as your factors, dividing 2 into the quotient, getting the result. So I hope you understand why you could have possibly got a different answer, not matching. But that's how it is. So whenever the factor is in the form of a fraction, remainder is always the same as you get with or without fraction part, but the quotient should be taken care of as we did in this particular example. And I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. And if you like, that'll be great to put some likes, right? Thank you and all the best.